Mmm. Now, this sounds good. Veal cutlet parmesan. Select veal cutlet about one inch thick. Pound both sides with dull knife. While pounding, sprinkle with grated parmesan cheese. Dip in beaten egg, then in breadcrumbs. Saute in butter until nicely brown. Garnish with chopped parsley and lemon slices. Now, doesn't that sound good? Delicious. Would you like that? I'd love that. Well, you are. Have a good time. Don't be a hog, please. You don't want to get indigestion like you've had before, do you? No. That's good. Oh, it's delicious. I thought you'd like it. This is the best yet. Yeah. Especially when I pound both sides of the knife. Yes, yes. I didn't do it. It wouldn't taste like this. very tender. Yeah, fix it up with you. Listen, if I chew it real well, can I have some dessert? Yeah, dessert, 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 dessert. Uh, um, all I've got left is bread pudding. What do you think I am? A peasant? I eat. Give me something good. That's all I got left. Well, then I'll make this do. Are you satisfied? I'll show you how I look out for you. Oh, boy. I give you all the delicacies. Treat you nice. You're good and full. Just hit the spot. So all I leave for myself is a broken down ham sandwich. <laughs> look out for my pals. It's a real ham sandwich. Can I have some? Yeah, see what you can do with that. <laughs> that is a real ham sandwich to win. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, good. Can I have the fat, maybe? Mm -hmm. If there's any left, I'll give it to you. Well, what are you can scrape off it, maybe, and give me some? Butter. For you. What are you looking for? Pick up that paper. Costello, pick up that paper. Man, don't. Don't you know that the city spends thousands of dollars every year to keep these public parks clean so the taxpayers can enjoy them? Don't you know that? I'm a taxpayer. Shut up. I'm a taxpayer and I can prove it. I got it right here. See what it says there? Department of Internal Revenue. Income Tax Division. Luke Costello. That's Mr. Luke. Mr. Luke Costello. Put on. That's me. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I didn't get one. Hey. You never told me you got a letter from the government. How come? I got it right here. Oh, did you read it? No, I'm afraid to read it. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, wait a minute. Right. You should read my mail. It's got oh, my name it? on it. You're not supposed to read my mail. If it's bad news, get it over with. What's the use of pretending? Enjoy the sandwich, ain't you? Yeah, it's delicious. And close check covering your overpayment of income tax. 13 cents plus interest. Mmm. Let me see. You're not going to see this check, bro. All right. I give you the best of everything. If it was me, it's just the opposite. You give me no sandwich when I ask. I'll give you. <laughs> uh, 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 just a minute. Hello, Mr. Fields. We thought you were asleep. We don't want to wake you. Oh? Uh, Mr. Fields, I'm terribly sorry we have no money for the rent, but we were looking for a job. And... You've got a job. We have? You certainly have. Here. You're going to pass out these handbills. We don't pass out first. You pass out every single one of them. Now, remember... The printing bill on these is almost $50, so don't waste them. Come on, bring them along. Why don't we fast? I got a job. Come on. Oh, I sit down and relax. And remember, I'm going to check up on you to see that you don't waste any of them. <laughs> Telling you, Lou? Mr. Fields is not going to like it when he finds out that you lost all those handbills. Look, Abbott, all I did was leave them on a curb. When I came back, they were gone. Sure, possibly the trash man come along and pick them up. I wouldn't want to be in your boots. I got an idea. No. Mm-hmm. Let us mix up some of those handbills. Now, you heard Mr. Fields say those bills cost $50 to make. Where are we going to get $50? We can still make up some of them handbills. How? With that little printing press I got for Christmas. Well, tell me that's still working. Sure, I got my hand caught in it a couple times. Come on. <laughs> there it is, Abbott. Isn't that a little gem? But what are you going to print on, Lou? You need paper, don't you? And paper costs money. Well, how much money you got? Oh, I don't know. Seventy-five a dollar, dollar, dollar sixty. Dollar sixty. 
How are you fixed? Well, I gotta set the check for 13 cents. Well, come on, let's use that every little bit of counsel. Come on. Wait a minute. The lights ain't right here, I don't think. What's wrong with them? Listen, if they say they owe you 13 cents, 13 cents is what they owe you. Come on. But I mean, it's. Uh... We'll put it all together, Lou. If you wanna buy paper, we're in a hurry. What's the matter? What are you looking at? 13 cents, Lou. It's 13. Have it. What? Look, look. Look, look, look. look. It's 13 cents. It's. It, it's. What, 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 what million dollars and, and 13 cents? But I can't put the 13 cents. Boy, am I, am I rich? A million dollars. What am I going to do now? A million dollars. Hey, hey, you two, come back here. <laughs> Yes, what is it? I got a refund check here and I think you made a mistake. This office doesn't make any mistakes. Are you sure? I'm positive. Our bookkeeping is done by machines and they're infallible. You mean this is the correct amount that I got coming? The amount stated on that check is the correct amount due you. Now, if you'll pardon me. Well, let's get going. Where are you going? To the bank. I want to see if this check's any good. Come on. You'll <laughs> okay, that out. Not yet. It isn't too important. It's only a million dollars. <laughs> I'd like to get this check cashed, sir. Yes, sir. How would you want it? Oh, nickels, dimes, quarters. <laughs> this is for a million dollars. And don't forget the 13 cents. <laughs> just, uh, just a moment. Now, this is ridiculous. That money don't belong to you. You heard what the man said at the tax office. Now, who ever heard of a million dollars interest on 13 cents? <laughs> Can I help with if I make a wise investment? <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Costello. This is quite a large check. Surely you don't want it all in cash. I sure do. This is the first time I'll ever see a million dollars all at one time. Well, it's not customary to cash a check of this size. I suggest that you open an account with us and... Just a minute. You mean to tell me you haven't got a million dollars in this bank? Oh, why, of course we have a million dollars, yes. Well, then, here, cash that check because it's good. Uncle Sam signed it. Yes, I presume it's good, naturally. Well, then, give me the million dollars. We want to take a look at it. I uh, suppose you have identification. Certainly, I got identification. I got plenty of identification. Have it. Tell them who I am. That's Lucas Della. Oh, well, then, I said, hey, wait a minute. Who's going to identify Mr. Rabbit? Smith, I will. Sure. This is Bud Abbott, so help me. That's it. Oh, well. <laughs> Mr. Costello. Yo, he wants other kind of that thing. Well, wait a maybe I have some kind of a laundry. I, I do, I do. No, I got a mold. I got a mold on my No, chest. never. No, he don't mean that kind. Of, maybe a laundry mark on your uh, clothing. Yes, that's an idea. Yeah. Uh, possibly on your shirt. Mm -hmm. On the shirt? On the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, see if you can find something over there. Some, some I ain't got too much time to waste in the Yeah, but Mr. Costello, this this mark is not legible. Now, perhaps you have some other garment. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cashier's cage is. Yes, ma'am. Three windows down. But we shall see. This whole thing is taxing my nerves. Can I do that? Can I do what? Tax your nerves? What else are you doing? Oh, me. You said they were taxing nerves, not me. I ain't taxing nobody. You're taxing my nerves. How can I tax your nerves, Abbott? I don't even work for the Internal Revenue Department. You don't have to work for them to tax my nerves. What? You can't tax nobody unless you've got a I don't mind the federal tax. I don't mind the state tax. What about the Social Security? I'm not taxing. To what extent? To any extent. 
You leave my nerves alone. That, that, They're more that, precious that, to me than money. Is that so? Yeah. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I'm convinced that you are Abbott and Costello. Now, how do you want this money? I want it in hundred dollar bills stacked like this so I can walk out <laughs> Carrying all this money, does it make me conspicuous? Look at the way everybody's looking at me. Come on. I don't mind. Oh, oh, I still can't figure out how those handbills got there. 16, 17, 18, I distinctly 19, remember leaving them out on the curb. 20. 10,000 brand new $100 bills, and you're worrying about ordinary handbills. Still can't figure it out. I... Hey, Abbott. That's one of those guys that followed us from the bank. He's in the alley. Yeah, that looks like one of them. I bet he's waiting out there till it gets dark. Comes in here and cut our throats. Mm, we, we should never have brought all that money to the apartment here with us. Let's bring it back to the bank. Oh, you dope. The bank is closed. It's after 3 o'clock. I'll think of something. I got an idea. Hey, listen to this. Listen. We'll take this suitcase full of money and scram. Is there any particular place you'd like to have your throat cut? Yes, any place but around the neck. We go out. When they stick us up, they think they've got the money. Is that good? Well, certainly it's good. Then we'll come back and get the suitcase with the real money in it. That's good. I'll get the other suitcase. Get the other suitcase. That's the one. There you oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We've got to put something in here to make it heavy. Look, how about using Mr. Fields' handbills? They're good and heavy. Good, 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 put, good. Put them in. Still there. Good. Now they're bound to follow us. Now pretend you don't even notice them. You understand? Yeah. Now come on, take a hold of that. Wait a minute. Are we going to leave the bag with all the money right there? Certainly, that's the safest place for it. Now, if you was a perfect stranger and you come in here looking for a million dollars, what is the first thing you do? Have my head examined. I... <laughs> come on, now don't pay any attention to the Goodbye, Sam. Don't worry about that. Now, make that bag look heavy. You know, you're supposed to have a million dollars in there. Are you kidding? This thing is heavy. I never knew that a million dollars could be this heavy. <laughs> Say, Mr. Fields, Abbott and Costello owe you any back rent? Only about six months back rent. Why? Well, I just saw him leave the apartment building with a big suitcase. What? They smuggled their belongings out of here. I'll have the law on them. <laughs> Mr. Fields, come here. Huh? Counterfeiters. I knew those guys weren't on the level. I knew it the day I met them. Why, this is unbelievable. Imagine this. Look at this. Boy, oh boy, will I get a promotion for uncovering this. Look at this layout. Printing press, phony money, everything. I can't understand it. Oh, I knew they were a couple of shrewd ones. Pretending to be broke to avoid suspicion. Why, they're probably the head of a nationwide ring. I'll go to your apartment and telephone the lieutenant. following us. 
There you are. I gotta go back. What for? I gotta go back and get my rabbit's foot. Without that, something terrible is liable to happen. That's ridiculous. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, as soon as the lieutenant comes in, having phoned me at this number, it's important. Still there, my rabbit's foot. I never go no place without you. Hey, Everett! <laughs> Got my rabbit's foot. Fine. With all this running around, we've probably lost those guys now. Well, let's stick around here. We'll wait for them to catch up. <laughs> here he come. I see him. Lou, you want me to carry that money around for a while? No. I get great pride in carrying this large amount of money around. <laughs> Wouldn't people be surprised if they knew that we had a million dollars in brand new, crisp $100 bills in that suitcase? Yeah. <laughs> and you know something else? What? It would be terrible if we were held up. Yeah, we haven't even got a gun to protect ourselves. We would be defenseless. Yeah. We'd better get out of here. It's only money, money, money. There's something phony here. This looks too easy. What's the matter? Hey, I think we lost him again. Huh? Yes, we did. You know, this bag is heavier than it was when we left. <laughs> You're getting weaker. You think so? Certainly. You know where they are? Hey, Abbott. Go ahead. Abbott. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Have you got a match, sir? Yeah, uh, sure. Thanks, kindly. Abbott. Abbott. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you mind, uh... <laughs> do you mind holding this for a minute? Abbott. Sure. Abbott. Yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Hey, you forgot your bag. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I did, didn't I? I'm sorry. Thank you. You two guys are rough stealing, gentlemen. That's a big idea. We had our hands on the money. Are you kidding? Couldn't you see they wanted us to take that bag? What do you mean? That was just a gag to get us away from the place where the money really is. Come on. Hey, I don't get it. Maybe those guys don't want the money after all. They sure almost got it. What do you mean? I got a confession to make. Well, give. Yeah, but when I went back to get my rabbit's foot, yeah. I got the bags mixed up. And this bag is the real money. The, the, this is the real money? Yeah. Get, 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 let's get a gun. Come, come on, on, come on, come on, come on. This ain't no mistake, Lieutenant. I know phony money when I see it. And I even found the printing press they made it on. Okay, but I'm warning you. If this is another one of your pipe dreams, so help me, I'll have you busted clear off the force. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the fool things. You came down here giving away a million dollars. I'll hide it this time. All right, where is it? Hey, we, we, we don't know what he's looking for, do we? No, uh, we don't know what you're looking for. What are you looking for? You know what I'm looking for. You looking for a room? It's where is it? I'm not going to tell him it's in the closet. Hey, there's somebody coming. Get in there. Better keep my eye on this evidence till the lieutenant gets here. Did you say something? No. Why? I don't know. I thought I heard you say something. Oh. Get over here. Come in. Stand up. You. Keep him covered. While I see what. Oh! I got it. You got me. Oh.
<laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah. You did? We got the million dollars in cash right here. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Well, what was it? Tax office. They, they, they sent me a million dollars by mistake. Didn't I tell you all this trouble for nothing? Oh, you don't have to worry about nothing. Just send up a guy right away to pick it up. Well, easy come, easy go. <laughs> I better call the police and have them pick up these two mugs. Okay. Need more exercise. <laughs> Give me the police. How'd you do that? Oh! How do you do, sir? Hello. I'm from the tax office. I came for the money. Oh, boy, am I glad you got here. Glad to get rid of that. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. They have some funny-looking guys working in that revenue department. <laughs> Costello, we're from the Department of Internal Revenue. We've come to collect the money overpaid you. What? Okay. Hey, just a minute. The man was here already and took the money. Mr. Costello, we're ready to overlook the fact that you obtained a million dollars from the United States government illegally. But it's the truth. The man was here and took the money out. Well, you boys better come along with us. Who are these men? We're just a couple of friends of his. Yeah, we'll wait here. All right, get them along, boys. Go on. Go on, all of you. What do you do with all that money? Counting it. Where'd you get this? A very fine gentleman gave it to me right in there. Please, can I keep some of it? Come on. You're making a terrible mistake, gentlemen. You'll hear from our attorneys. If you have an attorney, you better have him stand by. Hey, that's the man I gave the money to. <coughs> Internal Revenue. We found him in the alley with his whole suitcase full of money. Take him along. And those two men, too. Well, your story seems to check all right. May have to call on you later. <coughs> These guys never make mistakes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> There they are. What? Hey, what are we running for? We, we didn't do anything. Well, we must have been doing something that they wouldn't be chasing us. Open up, you guys. Open up or I'll bust it in. All right, where are your counterfeiters? They're holed up inside, Lieutenant. But I've got the evidence right here. Mm. A whole suitcase full of their phony money. the printing press. We've got all the dope on them. I don't think they ever could pass this stuff. It says new low rates at Fields Apartments, thoroughly modern. But, Lieutenant, I... I can... hope you realize that these two gentlemen can have you kicked off the force if they can't press charges. Oh, you two wouldn't do anything to me, would you? <laughs> oh, you don't think we would, huh? Well, we would entertain a proposition. Oh, well, I'll, I'll apologize. I'll, I'll do anything. Boy, just name it. <laughs> just name it, Mike? <laughs> sure. My, oh, my. Let me see. I'll tell you what, Mike. I'd like to kick you right in the seat of your pants at the corner of Broadway and Fifth at high noon. Is it a deal? It's a deal. Wait a minute, Abbott. What? what time you got? One minute to twelve. One minute to twelve. How do you like that? The guy is right on time, and there he is. Come on. 